Hi everybody, welcome to my channel at Bassi Learning Videos. Alright, so today's class will be on how to solve simultaneous equations and we are going to use both the elimination method and substitution method to solve some series of questions and I hope this will help you understand it better. Then if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the subscription button, give a thumbs up if you like the video and you have any question relating to this, you can put it at the comment section. Thank you. Alright, so, so the first thing that we are going to start is elimination. So we are going to solve these questions using the elimination method that will take you through these ones carefully. Then later, we will go to substitution with these same examples and you will know that you get the same answers as the way we solve for elimination method. So I will first of all solve the first one first. So the first one. The first one is this. So first of all, before you solve elimination method, these are the things you have to note. One, make sure the coefficients of one of the variables are the same. So, so something like the coefficients of x and x. Here is 3, here is 5. We have to make them the same so that we could either subtract or add them to eliminate them so it's from the word eliminate eliminate means taking away so you want to take part of the variable away so that you get one part solve for it and you could solve for the other so this is how you're going to do it i will want to take y away so i will multiply since they are not they have different coefficients i i will multiply equation one let me so I'll multiply equation one, equation one by three. So we'll multiply, let me write it here. So here I'm going to multiply equation 1 which is this by 3, then I'll multiply equation 2 by the coefficient of this y. I hope you understand. Yes. So we, we are going to multiply and we have, after multiplying we are going to get 9x plus xy equals 21, 10x minus 6y. to 74 so this will be our next equation so here can you see that in both the y's have the same coefficient except the signs so one is plus six one is minus six so when it happens this way we want to take the y's out and since they have different or alternate signs as positive and negative we, we are going to add them so imagine they have the same signs you are going to subtract but then if they have different or opposite signs as positive and negative you're going to add them okay so i'll add the equations and here i'm going to get 18 x is equal to 95 so here i can find my x by dividing then i'll get everything to be Five. So after getting five, then what do I do? I'm going to put it back into any of the equations to solve for y. So I'm going to put it in the first equation. So I'm going to get three multiplying plus two y seven. Then I'm going to get everything to be two y is equal to seven minus fifteen. This is negative eight so i'll divide and i'll get my y to be equal to negative four so this will be my
So solving for y, I'm going to get, I'll put this 5 into the first equation. You can put it in any equation, but then I'll put it in the first equation. And I get to y to be equal to 7 minus 15, which is the same as 8. So I could divide. So I've got my answer. So that means my x is 5 and my y is negative 4. So I'm done with the first question. Go on with the second. So the second question was... Okay, so for this one, it will be quite easy because uh, the coefficients of y in the first equation, the coefficients of y in the second equation are the same as here. Yeah, it will be quite easy because um, the coefficients of y in equation 1 is 1. The coefficients of y in equation 2 is negative 1. They are the same, but then they have different signs. So when they have different signs, you are going to what? You are going to... Add them, but then if they had the same signs, we're going to subtract. So let me add equation one to equation two. So add equation one and two, and I'm going to get three x is equal to negative y plus y is going to be zero. Eighteen. So we get s to be 6. So we found for x. So what do you do to find y? Put it back in any of the equation given. So I can put it in the first one because it's quite easier. So my y will be 24 minus x. And I know my x is 6. So 24 minus 6. So my y is equal to 18. So I had x to be 6 and my y to be 18. With this same idea, we are going to solve for substitution method. And mind you, substitution method and addition are the same. You are going to get the same answers at the end, but then the procedures are quite different. Okay, so I will start with the first one. So starting with the first one, for this substitution, substitution means you are replacing. So you are replacing, you are putting something else aside what you have ready. So for this, we, we could make any of the variables a subject. So I will make y the subject in the first equation. So I'm going to get y. Okay, starts the whole thing. So 3x plus 2y is equal to 7. And I want to make y the subject. That means I'm going to get 2y is equal to 7 minus 3x. Making y the subject. So this is my final answer for y. So when I get this, what you do is you put it in... The other equation, you won't put it in the equation you found y. Nope. So you're not going to put it in equation 1. I used equation 1 to find y. But rather, you're going to put it in... You're going to put it in equation 2. Okay. So we are going to get... 5x minus 3. Multiplying... Okay, so here you're going to do some simplification and you get then you group like things the ones with the x you put them on one side, the ones without x, we 
leave them. So here I'm going to get 5x. Plus 9 over 2x. Is it 40? 37. Plus 21 over 2. Okay, so here I'm going to get 95 over 2. And here I'm going to get 19 over 2x. So I'm going to get x to be equal to 5. So now I'm done with the this part. So I had my x to be 5. So how will I solve for y? Okay. The y was equal to 7 minus 3x over 2. So that means wherever you see x, you put the 5. So I'm going to get 7 minus 3 times 5 over 2. I'm going to get 7 minus 15 over 2. Then I'm going to get negative 8 over 2, which is negative 4. Okay, let me keep it here. So you're going to get negative 4. You remember we saw when we had something like this? Yeah, so with different approaches, but then arriving at the same answer. That's all about mathematics. You just don't go straightly by something unless it is given to you in the question. But then if it's something general, you can go by any other equation, any other method, any other to get the same answer as how a friend will also do. Okay, so... Um, I will solve the last one. So, I think I can. Okay, let me go to the next box. So, the last one is s plus y. Let's go to 24. Then, 2x minus y is equal to 6. Okay, so for this one, again, we are going to make any of the variable the subject. So I'll make x the subject from here. So from equation 1, I can make as a subject. Okay, so from here I'm going to put this x equals 24 into the next equation. I'm not going to put it in the same equation I found x, but then I'm going to put it in the next equation. So the next equation will be equation 2. 2 multiplying 24 minus y minus y equals 6. So you expand and I'm going to get 48 minus 2y minus y is equal to 6. So I've got my y to be 18. So with that, I'm going to put y equals 18 in any of the equations to find x. So from equation 1, which is s plus y is equal to 24. And I said my y is 18, so my s will be 24 minus y, which is the same as So in my final answer will be 6. Okay, so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed. And if you have any comment, anything relating to this, you can put it at the comment section. Thank you so much and bye.
Bye.